Hi, good day. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces for the month of April 2019. <clears throat> this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But who it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Maybe those videos would resonate with you better. If you want a personal reading with me, it's in the description box below. Alright, All right. so let me cut this deck and let's jump into this reading. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Pisces for the month of April? Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So somebody is not walking away. Somebody is willing to stand up and fight for whatever situation it is that is about to be happening here. Alright. Okay, so we have the Fool in reverse. We have the Tower upright. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles upright. We have the Temperance card upright. We have the Five of Wands upright. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups upright. And we have the King of Cups in reverse. So... For some of you, you're not taking that leap of faith. Whatever it is, whatever situation it is, you're not taking that leap of faith. This tower moment that shocked you to your core and shake your very structure and everything came crashing down, made you believe that you are not taking that leap of faith and accepting this love. This is a soulmate energy here. This is the Two of Cups. So for some of you Pisces, you all are not taking the leap of faith. Whatever you found, found out shocked you. You're not offering this person the cup of love. They aren't offering it. There is no coming together. For others of you, you're just being cautious. You don't want to take a leap of faith. Because this tower moment shook you so badly that you can't see love in the future. Hmm. But we have this king of pentacles. This king knows how to make money, save money. He's stern in his decisions. Whatever he puts his hand to comes forth. It blossoms. It grows. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's an Earth energy. Male or female. And then we have the Temperance card. Sagittarius, straight. This is about having balance. Having... Hmm, having balance. Whether it be balance in your finances, balance in your love life, because you felt like this tower moment made you feel like you couldn't love again. You're not willing to take that chance in love again. But you could be involved or a Sagittarius could be coming to you. An earth sign could be coming to you as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or these are people you were in relationships with and they hurt you so badly. That you're not willing to take that leap of faith anymore. Somebody got hurt really bad and the truth shocked 
with daylight is out of them. And you feel like you always have to be defending yourself. There is always somebody you have to be defending yourself to Pisces. It's either you defending yourself or you defending someone else. But this person, whoever this person is, the Sagittarius or the Earth sign, is either you defending them or they defending you or you are defending this non-existent leap of faith that was a tower moment here. You're still defending it to somebody. And then we have the seven of swords in reverse. You, you are no longer in your head. You have to make yourself happy. To make a ha to give you this happy home, white picket fence, car, everything. You came out of your head about this circumstance. About you not wanting to take that chance anymore. You're going to choose to be happy. You're going to choose a family life. This King of Cups in reverse could be a female, a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> this could be you, Pisces. This could be you not accepting love, not willing to take that chance. After that tower moment you went through where you found out that this was false, you're not willing to do it again. Pisces, you could have been with a, a female water sign. You could have been with a Sagittarius. You could have been with a earth sign. But somewhere in the future, after all of this, Ten of Cups energy, you're going to actually have that house, that car, that happy family, that wife, Because you're willing to fight for it. You're not walking away. Eight of cups upright means you're walking away. You, you don't want to walk away. You want to fight for this. Although at this point in time, you're not willing to take a leap of faith. Or to become committed to whoever this soulmate is. Whether it be one of these signs or whatever. Because this tower moment hits you hard. But you are going to be willing to fight for this ten of cups. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're not willing to take this leap of faith because you want Ten of Pentacles. You want to be, you want to have financial stability. You want to be able to get everything that this world could offer you. You want to be stable in your finances. You want to own a lot of material stuff so that's why for you this leap of faith is not going to happen clarify the ten oh too much clarify the ten of pentacles for the sign of pisces for the month of april 2019 <coughs> sorry okay one fell out you felt betrayed or you're coming out of the energy where you felt betrayed these are two tens back to back this cycle is completing whether you want it to or not whether you're willing to take that leap of faith or not whether it be about money or it be about a betrayal this cycle is ending for you Pisces because this tower moment means that the universe stepped in and shake your foundation to the core. Made you have to accept some kind of truth. You felt betrayed. You're coming out of that energy though. It's either you did the betraying or the betraying was done to you. Okay. 
Spirit clarify the tower. Oh. No, that's too many cards. I'm not taking them. Clarify the tower for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Ah. The moon in reverse. So this tower moment was all about lies. This tower moment is either you were lying to somebody, Pisces, or somebody was lying to you. Yeah. Because, <coughs> sorry. This is the moon card upright. It's about illuminating your way, but sometimes you don't see everything. And you are starting to, this tower moment made you, Pisces, start to see everything more clearly. Whatever this shock of your lifetime was. Huh. Alright. So, uh, this wanted to come out. This is the eight of wands and the king of wands. So, you probably, um, Blocked all communication with this fire sign person, this king of wands energy person, because this tower moment was all about finding out the truth. And when you found out the truth, I think you stop having messages with this fire sign energy. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Clarify the two of cups in reverse for the sign of Pisces for the month of April 2019. Clarify the two of cups for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Okay. Alright, so we have the nine of wands. So this love that you're refusing, this soulmate connection that you don't want, is it's not happening you're, you're barring up yourself you're not it's in the reverse nine is a completion of a cycle nine ones means you're closing off a cycle in passion you're not giving anybody love you're not taking any messages from this fire sign Clarify the nine of ones in reverse for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Clarify the nine of ones. Okay. We are the nine of cups in reverse. Two nines, two tens. This is going to bring you some kind of happiness. But it's a cycle that's closing off. It's a progression. It's it's nine into tens. Nine of ones, nine of cups, ten of swords, ten of pentacles. This is either about money for some of you and somebody probably taking it from you. And then when you walk away from the soulmate connection, you're going to find the happiness that you're searching for. Yeah, because two nines, two tens. Wow. Clarify the King of Pentacles for the sign of Pisces for the month of April 2019. Oh. You have the lovers in reverse. So whoever this earth sign is, Pisces. Yeah, you're telling them you want to be single. You're telling them there is no more love there. Is either you telling them or they telling you. Clarify the lovers in reverse for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Clarify the lovers in reverse for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Yeah, the six of cups in reverse. You're not looking back. You have decided to walk away. 
you're not offering anybody any love you're not reflecting on the past you're closing off this cycle you're not taking that leap of faith whatever this tower moment was that you found out that truth it it, it propelled you into a whole different direction clarify the six of cups area um, oh, sorry the six of cups for the sign of Pisces for the month of April clarify the six of cups nine of swords another nine another nine this is about you closing off some cycle you refuse enough you want financial independence you found out the truth about something it was keeping you up at night but it's not doing that anymore because it's in reverse clarify the temperance card <laughs> Okay, so the temperance card was clarified by the magician. So it, Pisces is either you manifesting this specific Sagittarius or this sort of Sagittarius is manifesting you. This is the magician in the upright position. This is you having all the tools to bring what it is you want from your thought pattern into your reality. So, mm, clarify the magician for the sign of Pisces. Okay, so we have the death card upright. Some kind of transformation is happening. Somebody is manifesting something and it's causing a transformation. It is causing a rebirth. It's causing a lot of emotional upset in you Pisces or in Whoever this Sagittarius is. Hmm. Okay. Clarify the five of ones energy. Clarify the five of ones or the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Clarify the five of ones. Okay. I was clarified with the four cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so the four cups in reverse means that you are no longer bored. It means that you are now looking at this offer that is coming from the divine rather than ignoring it. So, you're not going to be defending yourself. Uh, you have been out of your head. You're not being bored anymore. You're done defending. Oh. Okay, so we had the seven of swords that just flew out. So, this is in reverse. This is you just getting out of your own head and moving forward. And the chariot card is two conflicting ideas, two conflicting people, two conflicting situations that you are looking at both of them and coming up with your own answers but this is fast movement you are moving full speed ahead here okay seven of swords seven of swords is in reverse here it's in reverse here so you have finally finally sorry gotten out of your head Pisces. You don't you no longer feel betrayed this is going to bring you some kind of happiness some rebirth is happening you're not losing sleep about this situation anymore so if it's about money or if it's about love you're done with that you're manifesting whatever you want you're waiting for the transformation to take place because after this tower moment or whatever you went through and you learn the truth yeah hmm. okay it's clarified with the page of pentacles this is a really young energy this is a childlike energy some message about money maybe 
but it's in reverse so yeah you don't want any messages from whoever this fire sign is you don't want to hear any messages about money because you felt like you were left out in the cold or the person felt like you left them out in the cold yeah judgment in reverse you haven't decided yet what you're doing you know where you were you're not going to be and you know you're not going to be in your head about it you know you want to move forward but you haven't yet made that final decision as to what it is you're going to do about this whole situation because you want this it is good it's a it, it's a lot to carry ten of one's energy another ten closing out a cycle so we have one two three nines we have one two three tens wow this is a lot of closing out of cycles here whoever this is for and i'm guessing it it is a small group of you yeah you're not sure what it is you want to do about this whole situation for some of you you have already decided to move on for others of you this tower moment gave you all the clarity you needed you're no longer in your head about it you're just manifesting whatever this reboot is supposed to be and you're moving full speed ahead you have looked at this from both sides and you have come up with your own understanding of this situation. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So um, this, we had the King of Pentacles here. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. So this is either a same-sex couple or this is somebody that doesn't want to be stable, doesn't want this, doesn't want this happy home. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> hmm. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The two of wands in reverse. You, you, you. Pisces is either you or whoever you're dealing with has already made the choice. This is the two of wands in reverse. There is no more choice to be made. Clarify the two of wands in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse. You have already, you, you do know what decision you, you, you're going to make. Uh, um, I think for the females, you are choosing yourself. For the males, You all are, are just not sure. Because look the King of Cups here as well. Clarify the King of Cups. On top of the Ten of Cups. The Justice card again. In reverse. You are not making a decision, Pisces. You are not making this decision. This could be you. This King of Cups energy could be you. You just not making that decision. What? What? You? Oh no! You already know what you are choose. What you have choose. What? What? What is your choice? You already made your choice, and your choice could be a Libra. It could be another water sign. Because there is no balance. 
you waiting on somebody else to make this decision. Yeah, and you're trying to have strength about the whole situation. Or it could be a Leo. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Oh. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, we have the Temperance card yet again. Sagittarius. And then we have... <laughs> this is supposed to be a celebration. This could also mean a third party situation. But if there is... There, Whoever the Sagittarius is, the person is here and the person is here reflecting you, Pisces. Because I want to believe this King of Cups energy is you. Or it's a female water sign. Clarify the Three of Cups. There is no celebration here. Clarify the Three of Cups. Ooh, that too helps. Let's see what it is. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a passionate energy. It's a, it's it's not a, a childlike energy like the Page of Wands, but it's basically <clears throat> a flighty energy in the best way possible that I could put it. This person is going to come in hot with this passionate whatever passionate messages. And they're gonna leave just as quickly. Clarify the night I want to sign a Pisces. But you're going to have victory. Uh yeah. Okay. Um all right. For, so for some of you you're going to end up being victorious in this um what whatever this is. Whether it be a relationship, whether it be business, whether it be um yeah whatever it is because you're not walking away you're willing to fight for it because eight of cups in the upright position means you're walking away you're not walking away you're fighting for it yet you're not saying anything you're not receiving any messages from anybody you're not doing anything you're not making any decisions but you're going to be victorious in the end so for who this uh, resonates with maybe you could explain this situation further to me because it's quite interesting but just know that you are standing your ground you are not walking away and you're going to be victorious no matter what the hiccups is and the transformations and all that yeah uh, yeah Yeah, some something is is definitely going to work out in this situation. Probably starting in the month of April, but it could go beyond that. That's what I'm feeling. So, Pisces, for who this resonates with, um, let me know what's happening. I would love to read the comment about this. Alright, have a blessed day.